Back in the early 1900s and late 1800s, Chinese British Columbians were subjected to terrible, terrible discrimination and racism. And that was created in large part by the government. And in 2013, the BC government decided to do an apology for those historical wrongs. But we had to do a province-wide consultation with the community to find out what exactly the community expected in terms of an apology and what sort of legacy projects they wanted to have as a result of the, uh, of the consultation. Chinese Canadians helped build this province. They were an integral part of the province history. And part of the racial discrimination that actually affected Chinese Canadians was the erasure of their role as important builders of the province. And so I think one of the great successes of this project was to actually talk both about what was done to Chinese Canadians, but also what they were doing throughout the history of British Columbia. The results of the consultation were a unanimous apology in the legislature, um, a detailed and specific um, recommendations document to provide direction on projects to come and that one million dollars would be allocated for these legacy projects. There are three basic categories of legacy projects involving um, public education initiatives and a review of discriminatory legislation resulting in legislation which removed discriminatory content from very very old pieces of like legislation. Examples of the projects included an award-winning K-12 education supplement called Bamboo Shoots, which was provided to teachers to teach the historical experiences of immigrants in their social studies curriculum. I think that all these projects and other projects by LIAC will have a lasting legacy in our collective history. For example, the construction of the railway that helped to connect BC to the whole country. That is an everlasting legacy. This project is important to the public service because in the 1800s and in the 1900s, public servants were actually responsible for implementing and enforcing these racist policies. So it really meant a lot to not only my team, but the other teams in the other ministries who understood that we really had a part to play in the racism and we obviously had a part to play in the reconciliation.